Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sandy and this is a wig review on Paula Young's Shannon. This is that I have on is Shannon. You can find Shannon at the Paula Young website at paulayoung.com or if you happen to get on their mailing list you're going to find her in the catalog and this is Shannon right here in Wheat Rooted. The color I'm wearing right now is called uh, pecan rooted and it's eight slash 12 hashtag number six okay that's pecan rooted and i'm going to show you uh, her in another color and of course you know how much i love wearing gray wigs and that color is going to be their angel rooted angels wing rooted 56 slash 60 a hashtag 1b so let's take a look at the construction of this wig so we've got another open cap construction where it's all wefting all the way across the top and crown area. There's virtually no, no permatease per se in this particular wig, but there is a, all hand tied on the crown and with the elasticity that this, this top and crown provides, um, and the venting is a really comfortable uh, wig to wear. We also have a really nice soft velvety band at the front so that doesn't make you itchy. We've got our typical open wefting on the side, the front and the other side. We have open ear tabs with the metal stays and we do have some hand tied uh, fibers right on the inside of the cap, which allows it to look more realistic. Okay, on the nape, we happen to have an extended open nape, which adds to its security and to the coolness in which you can wear this. And then, of course, it's got Velcro adjusters in it. It's just a really nice little wig. Let's look at the um, dimensions of the hair fibers. So the weight all over is only 4.1 ounces. The front measurement is four and a half inches. That's this part right here, four and a half inches. The top is 11 and a half inches. So it's a little bit longer, a longer bob. And both sides are 11 and a half inches uh, from the... Uh, sides and the crowns and the crown i mean excuse me the top and the crown the sides are seven and a half inches excuse me that's right the upper back is 10 inches so it's got a longer back and um the nape is 5.5 inches so we've got a little bit longer of a bob we also have more blunt there's absolutely no layers no layers in this, so it's more of a blunt, and it is razor cut on the ends, but you can see that it's much fuller than the, uh, her sister, Dahlia. Now this is made from the Versa fiber, heat friendly fibers, so you can use heating tools or styling tools up to 350 degrees. Um, if you choose to make the curls, um, take her from being straight to curly, which they show you here as an option, isn't that nice? That's really cute. I would imagine that this would be very cute in, in uh, curls. So, but if you're going to go ahead and curl it and you take a, a heating uh, tool, then what they suggest is that you uh, return it back to its curled state, put a, uh, some kind of a clip or, or a pin to hold that in place until it has a chance to cool completely on its own. And that will set the memory of that curl into the fibers. And then even if you wash your wig after that, the uh, curl will remain. It will only change and, uh, when you reapply heat to it and smooth that out. So this is a cute little wig. Let's go ahead and try on the silver wings rooted. So we've got a nice silver, silvery hair uh, combination. It's got some darkness down towards the nape, but it has that rooting all the way through the wig. It's everywhere. So you get a good consistent um, appearance on this. Also, the rooting adds a dimension to the undark, well, the, the lighter fibers. Okay, here we go again. Now you notice she's got this little, little bang. Now I'm gonna part it here on the right. Let's see, can we take those bangs this way? 
Well, we can kind of play with them a little bit. And finger comb again. You can take your wide tooth comb to her. Be very gentle when you're, you're combing out any of your wigs. And you want to start at the bottom. That one's got a little tangle. You want to start at the bottom and go up so that you are able to get the knots released. So this type of bang, look, it can, looks like it can come kind of straight off and not be a real serious bang. Uh, you're not gonna be able to get that down to the eyebrows, straight across appearance with this particular wig. Her bangs are a little bit lighter. So, but they are already a, a little wispy and you can take that and use them however you you like. Now, because my bio hair is gray, I like putting wigs behind my ears. Of course, this would be great with a headband of any kind or a scarf. Um, here's the style. Let me turn around for you. Now, she's longer in the back and very full at the bottom. Nice and full. And that's why I was thinking, um, putting curl into her would be really, really nice. But she's a great bob, you know, even as she is. Let's take a look at that rooting. How's it look to you? I think it's pretty good, you know, but it doesn't have that thickness right here. It's very, very comfortable. That's one thing I really like about this particular line. The, the VersaFiber wigs, they're just so comfortable. And they're very pretty, too. They've got great styles. I'm just gonna have to break down and try curling these wigs and see what happens. Well, that's it for to this wig review. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoyed my video, please give me a thumbs up and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.